What we found was that this project was also an incredible learning experience for us. Putting the two of us down in a situation where we were filming a documentary with little to no experience doing documentary style filming was, uh, was tough and it took us a little bit to find the workflow um, to get everything going at the most efficient way possible. We certainly had never had never experienced the 12 hour days in the Ghanaian heat. And humidity is not nice to him. No. The first day that we arrived, we we woke up at four in the morning to get uh, to get going, and there wasn't even light out. We couldn't see anything. By the end, this felt like second nature to us because we had been doing it every single day. I think that's just part of how it goes with something like this. Uh, we felt very out of our element at first, and by the end, um, it was it was very comfortable for us. The language barrier was definitely an issue for us because since the village is so remote and uh, there's not a lot of English speaking that goes on there, a lot of times the people that we were interviewing were actually not fluent in English at all. And so we would often have um, a local Ghanaian with us who could translate for us. And so this was something that we kind of had to adjust to as we, uh, as we saw the answers we were getting, as we prepared for each interview, we, we really needed to, to address this. And how long have you lived in Tokyo, Tokyo? I've been here Overall, I think we were able to work around it and, uh, and make the most of it because thankfully we had translators who were, who were very fluent in English and uh, could convey what we wanted to ask and could convey the answers that they gave us and that was certainly important to the outcome of the piece. Thank <laughs> you.